Hey everyone, welcome to this quick demo of Steve's Talking Clock. Um, this is a clock program you can get from steve-audio.net and of course I will link to it. Um, it's basically a clock program that runs in the background and um, it can tell you the time or you can set an alarm um, now you may have heard it in my demos because I have it installed and I didn't turn it off before I started recording and I had someone ask me to do a quick demo. Um, this is a very customizable program. You can get your own voice packs. You can make your own. You can download a whole bunch of them from the website. Um, I'm not going to cover that because I don't know how to do that really and I'm fine with the default clock. I just want it to tell me the time. And uh, so let's jump right right into this. So there's a few ways to access the clock. Um, the easiest is if you have defined hotkeys. So if I press Control shift t It's 6.56 p.m. Right. We are almost to the top of the hour. And uh, you'll hear it, it go off here very sh shortly. You can also get to it with the system tray. I'm using Windows 11 right now. So if I hit Windows B. Show hidden icons button. Show and then I hit the space bar. Steve's clock 2.06 button. Steve's clock 2.06 tool tip. Um, this is the first icon that I get to. Yours might be different. Uh, basically, you want to find this icon, and if you hit the Applications key... It's 6.57 p.m. It, it will tell you the time. To access the clock, press... Enter. Steve's clock 2.06. Main voice combo box default collapsed. Okay. Uh, so you press the Enter key to get here. If you've assigned hotkeys like I have, I could also hit Control Shift C to hide or sh show the clock. So the boxes we have here, uh, this is the. Let me press NVDA tab. Main voice combo box default focus collapsed. Okay, this is the main voice. This is what you will hear when it does its different announcements. Right now, I just have N -O -N -E. none, which it's spelling it because it's in capitals. Default. Or default. Um, if I tab. Quarter hour voice combo box, N -O -N -E, collapsed. I do not want it to speak on the quarter hour, but if you want that, you could set that to default. That. N -O -N -E. Half hour voice combo box, N -O -N -E, collapsed. Same for half hour. Three quarter hour voice combo box, N -O -N -E, collapsed. That's self-explanatory on the hour voice combo box default collapsed and on the hour alarm voice combo box default collapsed you can set the voice for the alarm alarm time at its elected 00 colon 0012 colon 00 am uh, i'm not sure why it's set to 12 am but that is what it, it is set to so if you tell it like say i want the alarm at let's see what time we got right now it is it's 6 59 p.m Okay, say so yeah, I, I want the alarm at 7.05, so I'll type Selection. 7 colon 0 5 p.m. 7 colon 0 5 space p.m. blank. Just like that. 24 hour mode checkbox not checked. You can use 24 hour time. I have that off. I prefer 12 hour. Say time button. If you click this button, it will read this at the time. It's 6.59 p.m. And actually, it should go off here pretty soon. Initialize button. Initialize. This is if you add voice packs to the program, you can hit this button. It's 7 o'clock p.m. And there goes the clock. Now, I am going to show you how to get rid of those chimes. I find those chimes uh, very obnoxious. I just want it to speak the, the time to me. Save settings button. I can hit save, pressed, and that will save my preferences, including the alarm, which should go off in about five minutes. Audio button. Audio. Configure audio dialog. Audio output combo box speakers. USB audio codec collapsed. If you have uh, different sound cards, you can choose where the sound goes. Digital audio. S slash diff. Hide. 
Insignia TV, Nvidia Hidefini. Right, I'm just gonna go back up Speakers, here. Speakers, USB audio codec. To the top. Okay button, Steve's clock 2.6 quarter hour voice comp, make minimum quiet hot audio. Button, hot keys, button. Hot keys, you can set different hot keys here. Configure hot keys dialog, action combo box, say time collapsed. You use the, uh, uh, up and down keys to go through the choices. Toggle 24 hour mode. Previous voice. Next voice. Show slash hide. Exit clock. And then uh, if you want to modify or view the keystroke. Hotkey, hotkey field, control plus shift plus E. So I have control shift E to qu quit the clock. Action, show slash hide. Hotkey, hotkey field, control plus shift plus C. Control shift C to hide and show the clock action next voice Pre talk say time hotkey hotkey field control plus shift plus t and of course control shift t to say the time okay bye. and uh, these keystrokes are global just make sure that when you're assigning them you don't uh assign them to commands that programs are using because then they may not work or they may not work in the program um basically to Set a hotkey. Hotkey, hotkey field, control plus shift plus T. You go to the hotkey field and type the hotkey you want. OK button. And then you hit OK. Steve's clock, quarter hour voice, make minute quiet hot audio, save settings button. And hit save. Pressed. Audio, hotkeys, quiet mode, button. Quiet mode, um, this I believe is if you want it to stay off or not uh, play sounds during specific time periods, you can do that. So like if I go in here. Configure quiet mode dialog. Don't speak after edit selected 10 p.m. Okay, in this example, I set it so maybe I don't want you to talk after t 10 p.m. at night because either I'm going to sleep or I want it to be quiet. Don't speak before edit selected 6 a.m. And don't speak before 6 a.m. So from t 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., if your computer is on and the program is running, it won't do anything. Enable quiet mode checkbox checked. OK button. Right. And then you can turn it on or off. Steve's clock quarter hour main minimum quiet mode minimize to tray button. And then you can hit this button. Audacity. Track the and it will hide the program. And let me check the time here. It's 7.03 PM. So um, hopefully it will go off. I can show you the alarm if I keep babbling here for just a little bit longer. Um, that is basically how the program works. It's pretty easy to use. Um, you can read the documentation, and I think there's documentation on uh, clocks or how to create your c c custom clock voices. And uh, a couple more things before I end here. Um, this program is 32-bit. Um, I think it's pretty old too. It, it's been around for quite a long time, uh, but I think I'm going to email Steve and see if he'll consider making it 64-bit because that's where all software is going. And I don't know if this will be impacted by the uh, bug in 2038, or I guess it's not a bug, it's just an inherent limitation in 32-bit programs, but... Uh, I think after uh, some some date in 2038, they won't be able to c c calculate time properly. Uh, so that would be nice if it was a 64-bit program. The other thing is, let me show you how to get rid of the sounds that play uh, when it's doing things like the time announcements, because it'll play those dings and... Uh, there's a little noise. So if I go to run dial the run box, we're going to go to program files. You could also do this through this PC, but I'm just going to do it the quick way by typing in the path. Local it's 7.05 PM. And that's what the alarm sounds like. It basically tells you when you hit that time. Program files. So I'm going to go here. Program files x86. To program files x86. Items. And basically, I got here by going into the run box and typing in the path to the C drive. But if you're more comfortable using the graphical um, environment, you'd go into th th this PC, go down to your. 
C drive, go into program files, x86. Steam. Uh, we, we don't want Steam. Steve's clock. We want Steve's clock. Items view list. Default not selected. Selected. Uh, default. Items view list. Durname dot talk not selected. Selected. Okay, these are files that control the clock. I, I'm going to actually quit the clock program here real quick. So I'll hit control shift E. And what we want to get rid of. Oh, oh, dot wav. We want to get rid of. Item type. Hour one dot wav. Four dot wav. Fifth dot wav. Eight dot wav. Announcement dot wav. M dot announcement. VLC. Okay, we, we want to get rid of. Default items view list. Announcement. Uh, announcement dot wave. Delete multiple items dialog. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these one items? Yes button. Default items view list. Now I think it'll block me. Let's see. Default. Audacity file access denied. Okay. Start file. Continue with I'm hit continue. Pause the operation. Check default items view list. Eight dot wav not. Now this is this is another reason this program should be updated. Um, by default, it's storing its core files and clock files in program folders, or in program files, which is a protected location in modern versions of Windows. The reason you're getting the access d d denied messages is because, like I said, these are protected. It's making sure that you actually want to make changes to the program files. So you have to hit the continue with admin rights button. Fifth.wav. So Item I want to get rid of that. Our one dot wav. This file. VLCC. VLC default. Our two dot wav. VLCC slash. This file. Default. I we'll close the LC. Our one dot wav. So I'm going to highlight these two. Item I'll hold down shift and, and hit down arrow. Our two dot wav. And then hold down shift again Item and type. hit delete. Wav. Delete multiple items dialog. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these two items? Yes button. We'll hit yes. File access denied. Deleting two items from default. Zero percent complete grouping. Continue with automatic administrator rights button. I'm going to hit this. Pause the continue with automatic administrator. Pause the operate default item. And it made me do, do it twice because I was deleting multiple files. If you left and right arrow, there's a checkbox that says do this for uh, do this for all current actions, and if you hit that, it will not prompt you. Uh, so at this point, Audacity. I can close that folder and relaunch the clock program, and it shouldn't play those obnoxious sounds. Uh, so um, I hope you found this useful. Like I said, this is a very basic look at the program. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a nice little thing to have running in the background just to help you keep track of time. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. And until next time, take care.